Amen, say man, it's Armand Turo in the cut on the mic, and today we're going to be discussing these Travis Scott Dark Mocha Jumpman Jacks that are coming out in November, so next month. These are actually pretty clean, this is, these are very similar to the Velvet Browns that I just made a video about, so go check out that video. But before we get in this video, drop a like, drop a sub, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff, and yeah, we're just going to get right in this video. So yeah, they come out November 13th, I'm pretty sure, well yeah, they do come out November 13th, so I'm expecting them to come out on probably on the Sneakers app or hit his website November 13th. I'm going to look at market here soon, so I'm going to do a little overview of that, but I'm going to pop that up in a minute. But yeah, these are really similar to the Velvet Browns that are coming out in December, so a lot of Travis's are coming out by the end of this year. I know what they're doing, they're trying to get people's Christmas money, but yeah, you know, you, you gotta expect more fire drops to come near like like holiday season type stuff, so yeah, these are pretty clean, I probably already popped them on the screen, but if I didn't, there you go. They're like a black, they're like black with his like, you know, his uh, staple brown color, like that mocha type color, but they're like a dark mocha, that's the color, because it is kind of like a darker type uh, brown. But yeah, I'm going to pop up market, then I'm going to get back uh, with y'all. Okay, right now I'm going to pop up market. Right now they're going for around uh, anywhere from like really $400 to $1,000. So, But there's been really sales for like $900, $800, $700 range. So yeah, this pair is definitely going for some money. I expect like my estimated resale for this pair is probably going to be like $350 to $500 whenever they come out. Like $350 in batter sizes. Like right now they're already at $399 and a 5.5. So that's kind of like a batter smaller size. So it's like a 7 women's though. So... I mean, I, my, some girls might like this shoe, but it's more of like a, you know, guy shoe, honestly, because it's like a darker color shoe. But these are actually really clean. This is like one of the shoes I'm definitely looking forward to, even though I know they're going to be really hard to get. So yeah, retail is 200 bucks too. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of resellers going for this shoe. If they're, you know, looking at the market right now, any Travis Scott shoe is always hard to get because resellers and people that want them for the personal. But yeah, this is like a shoe that I don't know. I'm going to have to see them in person. Hopefully I get a pair in hand so I can do a review for y'all. But yeah, definitely a good pair that's on my radar right now. Um, yeah, so definitely a clean pair. Nothing too, too crazy. They do look very similar to the Velvet Browns. I don't know if they come with any extra laces. The Jumpman Jacks are kind of like, people are saying that they're going to be played out if there's too many colorways coming out. This is already the third colorway that they're coming out with. They came out with the University Red one. And then the first one was kind of similar to the Mocha one. So I'll probably, I'll probably pop up both of them on the screen, the University Reds. And then the Mocha one they came out with. The Mocha one was the one that goes for like more money, I think. The University Red one was pretty limited, though. They, only, they didn't even drop them on the sneakers app. They only did it like... Uh, through a sneakers pass in like houston or something like that i don't know why all his shoes come out in houston i think it's because i don't know like he has something i think he went to like college or something in houston so that's why uh they're always dropping like them in like houston area like travis scott so yeah i don't know yeah i guess I, I think that's why he has like ties with houston but yeah definitely a clean pair right now a size 10 well, my size 12 and a half isn't even like available right now like people nobody has that size but Right now, size 10 is going for ask is a thousand dollars, so that's pretty crazy. People are saying that they're gonna brick though if they make too many colorways, but this is always this is already the third uh, John Man Jack colorway, and you know they're still going for numbers. People are still buying them early for really high, like 700, 800, 900 bucks. So yeah, definitely, I don't I don't think they're gonna brick honestly because they're a Travis Scott, but I did hear someone say, oh John Man Jacks, they're gonna become like because they're like a trainer, which yeah, they're not the best model honestly. Jordan One Lows, Jordan One Highs is probably like you know. Travis's best colorway to go with that people like the most obviously just based on market based on sales you know definitely Jordan ones are definitely his like staple but I really wish he can he'd come out with another like Jordan 4 apparently the blue ones like the, the only Jordan 4 he has besides like friends and family ones I know he has like a friends and family for but his blue ones that were like released on the sneakers app into the public apparently those bricked when they first came out which is pretty crazy to think about and I think he came out with the four as one of his like first colorways and people weren't feeling them i don't know how people didn't feel that like travis scott four but apparently they were like going for literally retail when they came out i guess travis scott wasn't like a big huge like sneaker you know like he was already like pretty big rapper but i don't know i guess like his sneakers people were just weren't going crazy for him but that's kind of crazy to think about because now they go for like a thousand dollars but correct me if i'm wrong i'm pretty sure i heard someone say that like i heard ron like the streamer like the stable i forget i forget his name i think it's the stable man i could be wrong stable ronaldo yeah he literally said that uh in like a stream that he like bought that pair and literally sold it for retail and now they go for a thousand dollars which is i mean no it doesn't matter to him because he makes tons of money off streaming but you know like that is kind of like i hate when i do that you know you sell a shoe early and later on it goes for a thousand dollars which is you know that happens sometimes but you should know to hold on to that travis scott for i mean anything travis scott you got to hold on to it but i'm pretty sure those, those came out like 2018 range but yeah anyways back on the jumpman jacks honestly this pair is 
pretty basic but it is like that brown color that people like so i definitely see these like holding up in value they definitely will release um like drop a lot so i wouldn't say go out and buy a pair early right now unless you can just get like, like a really good deal I would say like 450, 500 would be a good pay, like deal on this pair in like bigger sizes, like nine and a half and up. But yeah, definitely, uh, definitely will hold up in market. Definitely will be going for some bread. So stay tuned for this pair. Y'all boys drop a like, drop a sub, and hit the notification bell if you're this far in this video. But let me see how long this video has been real quick. Okay, tune back in this video. Apparently, there's gonna be some pretty decent, uh, like Jumpman Jacks. I feel like the quality isn't too crazy, but apparently, I'm reading this thing, uh, this article like on this pair, and apparently, like the brown is gonna be a good like suede leather. So I don't know about le leather, but definitely like a good suede apparently. So definitely gonna be a clean pair. Definitely, a lot of people are gonna be going crazy for these. I already know. This is gonna be hot on sneaker YouTube this pair. So yeah, y'all y'all stay tuned. They come out November 13th, like I already said. So that is about a month from now. Yeah, so we're gonna be getting some pretty good releases coming up, like you know, November, December. Right now it's kind of slow. There hasn't been too many drops, not really. They're the medium all of Travis Scott's has came out though, so I already kind of talked about those. Go check out my recent videos talking about those. So those are kind of like you know. I didn't get a pair of those, unfortunately, for retail, so I'm just used to it. Travis Scott's right now. They're very rare to hit for retail, but I know a lot of people that did hit those medium olives. I said that in a recent video because there was high stock. I think the medium olives was the most like highly produced Travis Scott. I think they're finally realizing they could push out like crazy numbers, like 100K pairs, and they'll still sell out like crazy and still be like going for crazy numbers on the aftermarket. Pretty sure the medium olives right now are like, I don't know, let me check market on those real quick. Okay, tune back in this video. I just realized I don't have Wi-Fi right now because reasons but uh yeah so anyways back on the jump mat and jack uh dark mochas i'm pretty sure that is yeah that's what they're called definitely gonna be a pair to look forward to um yeah i'm already known they're gonna be going for some money because just any trap scott like i already said is just holding up in value like crazy right now though i definitely see that they're inflated right now there's just not that many out there right now so definitely wait if you're like trying if you do want this pair for the person definitely wait to buy it until they come out and then maybe wait like a week or two after they come out so the hype will kind of fade i feel like the all like the jumpman jacks this is what's been kind of happening with like whenever the mocha like colorway that looks like the mocha jordan ones uh, lows and yeah they look like the mocha they, look, they kind of look like the reverse mochas i'll probably i probably already popped them on the screen but if i didn't there you go those like were going for crazy numbers but now they kind of settled and now i feel like they're going for like 400 dollars range but i could be wrong on that so that might be the red ones the university red ones those were going for like a thousand dollars in all sizes whenever they came out but that's because like i said they only dropped them in houston through like a sneakers pass so yeah those were like super limited those weren't even that nice but people just you know they're just going for super high numbers because they're super limited and they're travis scott but the jumpman jacket a lot of people are not feeling them but a lot of people do like them at the same time honestly i think they're kind of ugly but they are kind of cool, you know, uh, I, I was, not to be a hype beast, but yeah, you know, it's a Travis Scott shoe, so backward swoosh, can't, can't go wrong with the backward swoosh on a shoe, and the colorway goes pretty hard, but yeah, I don't know, I'm not really feeling like, I don't, I don't know, I kind of like the strap, it kind of gives me like a Yeezy vibe, so yeah, it kind of gives me like the Nike Yeezy vibe before uh, Kanye switched to Adidas, whenever he did his Yeezy collection, the Nike Yeezys, this is kind of like, I feel like Travis is kind of like trying to take like that model, kind of like what Kanye did, like, you know come out with his own model because like the jumpman jacks i'm pretty sure that's like his own model there's not like regular nikes that look like those like that's his own model that he made so yeah i mean that's cool and all but i do feel like he should do like more like jordan fours maybe do another jordan four do another uh i don't know he already done jordan ones i was gonna say jordan one maybe a jordan three i don't i don't know something different though because he's just been doing a lot of jordan ones i'm sorry the medium olives the regular woman's olive one which is pretty clean honestly i like the regular olives more than the medium olives that just came out but i don't know i have to i'd have to get the medium olives in person because i've not even seen those in person yet so yeah i, I really want a pair of those because i do like green and the medium olives has like a really good olive green color on it but yeah i would have gotten the flip though probably not to keep but if i got my size i would have thought about it because they have pink laces any travis scott with the pink lace like extra pink lace on them you know that's a cop for me honestly the pink laces this goes crazy that's why i like the udo sbs a lot because they have the pink laces like that's what makes the udo sbs honestly in my opinion but yeah that's besides this point dark mochas travis scott jumpman jacks they're coming out november 13th so that's in about less than a month so y'all get ready for that pair get your pockets ready but uh hopefully you know hopefully uh, a lot of people get them for retail so you know hopefully i get them for retail honestly because i mean i need a that'd be nice to get a, a travis scott dub even though it's just a just a shoe but it you know if you get a travis scott uh, sh uh shoe for retail i mean that could really change up your game if you're a reseller or if you're just you know trying to you know wear them for the personal because i mean that, that's a crazy if you get a pair of those in the collection your collection's already pretty good and also if you get them the flip 
you already have some good capital to you know hold on to because Travis Scott's are going for like I said, five hundred to a thousand dollars every single release. I think the medium alls right now are kind of like one of the cheapest. They're almost like canary type numbers, but I feel like they kind of went up. They're probably going for around seven hundred dollars in bigger sizes, six fifty, six hundred range, and then smaller sizes probably going for like some canary numbers. The canaries, those are like not as produced as the medium olives, but yeah, they're definitely they're going for cheaper than the medium olives, which makes sense because the canaries. They kind of suck but yeah i mean if you're a girl you might like them the yellow and blue it's kind of iffy it's like his like college colors i'm pretty I'm pre or high school colors yeah it's like it was like his high school colors so really ugly honestly but hey they travis scott jordan one low first uh, swoosh it always goes for money so yeah anyways though i think that's all i had to talk about in this video let me check how long this video has been uh, real quick all right yeah i'm gonna wrap up this video hopefully the audio and stuff sounded good but yeah uh stay tuned for more fire videos and peace